Hello and welcome to Advent with the Angels, day six, very powerful and six is about the physical world and the reality we live in and becoming the observer of that from a spiritual perspective and not getting triggered by things or taking things personally. So the number six can be connected with the ego and overcoming the ego. The ego edges all the goodness out, it's a bit like the devil that sits on the shoulder whispering in fear. And the ego lives in the past that can't be changed, connected with the if-only energies that we go over in our mind and it can drive ourselves a bit crazy. Or the future energies with the what if. What if this happens, that happens, and we start going into fear. But in the now, we have control over the ego. And we'll always be dealing with the ego because we are a human being. And even though we are spiritual beings, we've come down to this earth plane to learn, we are living life as a human form. And that human form has an ego. So we'd never escape the ego, but we can rise above it. And that's what I'm feeling you're doing today. Because the calendar is kind of just in the air. And I feel this is if things feel up in the air or you're not sure what's going on or there's some fear around or worry, breathe through it. This too shall pass. Instead of struggling, being scared, not sure what's going on, being confused, then breathe through it and rise above it and say, mm, isn't this interesting? So then you become the observer of your reality and you see it from a higher point of view. So let's see what's behind door number six today. Yeah, we've got a snowman. I love how the snowman, I mean, obviously I know this is a snowy calendar, but I love how the snowman is a vocal point of this calendar because we're once again being reminded about snowy weather and cleansing and healing. And we've got, yeah, this snowman, I'll show you in a second, but there's a snowstorm going on. And he, you can see it's very windy when I'm looking at this as well. And he's, scarf is flying all over the place but he's remaining where he is he's not being knocked over or he, he's standing strong where he is so this is exactly what i'm feeling i'm feeling that you are the lighthouse in your life and that means that you have power you are not going to get knocked down if you have a bit of wind or a bit of snow coming at you or a bit of rain you know, if you're walking, you know what it's like when you're walking in weather, when it's really windy and you can't, you know, you're walking, it's like you're in slow motion because usually you'd walk quite fast, but when the wind is stopping you, it's creating that force that's trying to push you back. So you have to walk even stronger, you know, and stride faster. And they show me like um, a skier, you know, skiing as well. You have support from the, you know, the, the skis, I mean, I've never skied, I don't know what they're called, but those things that you hold, you know, when you're skiing, so you are, you know that you can kind of support yourself and stop if you need to, and take a minute to get your energy back, and that's what I'm feeling, so this wind that's coming through in this picture is not going to knock you down, it's not going to hold you back, it's not going to stop you, it may bring in a moment of reflection, but it's not going to stop you from reaching your destination or achieving your dreams or doing what you've come here to do. This is about you being stronger and tougher than anything that comes at you. God would not give you anything that you can't handle. And you are the lighthouse. And what does the lighthouse do? It stands tall and strong in the ocean. And there may be a heavy sea, a rough sea. There may be wind rain whatever's going on but that lighthouse stays where it is and it shines this bright light and it helps the the boats and the ships navigate around you know any hazards so it's the light you're the light so this is saying to you today don't let anything or anyone knock you down stand strong remember who you are call on archangel michael today and he will give you the strength you need to carry on because if something's affecting you in your physical world, you have the power to rise above it. It's only the ego that's trying to get involved and bring in fear. In the now you are safe. The ego will bring in stress. There's always a solution. There's always a solution to any perceived problem. And we can find that solution with prayer. If you've got time to worry, you've got time to pray. And the angels want you to pray today and ask for assistance and they will help you. And they will guide you, protect you, and keep you strong. 
So nothing can affect you. Even if your twin flame does something today or says something today that you don't agree with or hurt, you are stronger than that. Remember, whatever they are going through and doing is a reflection of them. It's their issues. Let them deal with what they are going through and you deal with what you're going through. And it's the same with anyone, a family member, a friend, a stranger. If there's negativity coming at you or people trying to you know, knock you down or hurt you in any way, you stand your ground and you remember who you are because you have power and you're going to stand strong through it all like this snowman. So look at the gorgeous picture there. Okay, can you see that there? That snowman, he's standing strong, that's you. Nothing's going to knock that snowman down and nothing's going to knock you down. So what do you need to know today? Here we go, one card, one on the top moving as well. Yeah, look at this, nine of cups. Your dreams are going to come true. You know, when the glasses clink together, it's a, sign, a symbol of joy, success, congratulations. Like the angels are saying to you, your dreams are coming true. Nothing can stop that from happening. But we can delay things a little bit with our own ego, making things harder than they need to be going over the past, blaming things, blaming ourselves or the people, saying if only this, if only that, it does not serve us, it just brings up pain, so instead accept what's happened and be at peace, and the ace of pentacles, the gift is coming, the ace of pentacles is connected with December to April, so this is where we are now, your dreams are manifesting now, the gift that you seek is on the way, someone wants to give it to you, so don't let anyone or anything knock you down or tell you otherwise or make you feel small because you are strong and you are the lighthouse and you are a leader. So remember that today. Fear is only real in the mind and it can only live and operate in the past or the future. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.